darling, I've been on the fence about it. Should I tell you of the dreams I'm having? On second thought, maybe you don't feel the same about it. But I'll try to find ways to ease the doubt and open up your eyes so you can see what I see. But until then. Get all okay when you make up your mind. I know it's crazy, but you work the waiting. Oh. I have observed firsthand how you honor love as an action, not simply a feeling. To see that it is your mom and I couldn't have hoped for it. We couldn't have. And just it, it's one of those things when you see this happen. It is just amazing. It is heartfelt. And all I can say is um, happily ever after to the royal couple, the prince and the princess. on with our brother. He's a special friend who teases the most, but fights with everyone to keep you protected. Our brother is someone who grows with you and knows all about you. He loves you unconditionally and has your back. And if that's not Nate, I don't know what it is. Darling, it seems it's now I never so just get lost. In love, lose all sense of doubt and open up your eyes so you can see what I see. Oh, a happy ending to our wildest dreams. You and me, but until then. Day you'll be mine. You'll make it all okay when you make up your mind. I know it's crazy, but you work the waiting. Oh, oh. Uh, but our relationship—it's been one that has given me energy, joy laughter, romance, moments of pure bliss. More than anything, we have and always will be best friends. Know that whenever I get up and say goodbye in the morning, that I am so, so grateful that you choose me to share your life with. Always remember that I continue to choose you, always. You always know how to put a smile on my face, even when I'm hungry. <laughs> you help me to the best version of myself, even when I don't feel like it. You make me laugh, you make me think, and above all, you make me happier than I could have ever imagined. I love you with my whole heart in a way that I cannot express in the words, so please know that it has always been you.
Uh, this celebration, of course, is years in the making, and Caitlin and Nathan would like to express to all of you their gratitude and for your support on their journey. This couple has been together for a long time, over a decade, so we have had the chance to see them not only grow up, but grow together. I know I'm not alone when I say to each of you that I love you both individually, but I also love you together as a single unit. This, happened in, uh, this union didn't happen in isolation. The reason we're all here is because Caitlin and Nathan recognized and appreciated the roles that each of you have played in where they are today, about to tie the knot. And for that support, they're unspeakably grateful. Take into account that great love and great achievements involve great risk, and that a loving atmosphere in your home is the foundation for your life. Be gentle with the earth, be gentle with one another. When disagreements come, remember always to protect the spirit of your union. When you realize that you've made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for one another. So love yourselves, love one another, love all that is your life together, and all else will follow. Starting from the last row, Nathan and Caitlin's wedding rings, one on each side, will be handed out to be passed along from person to person by Jake and Chris, giving each of you a chance to warm the ring. When it is your turn with the ring, what you choose to do with it is entirely up to you. You can say a short prayer or think of a favorite passage from a book or poem or movie. Uh, maybe picture a warm memory or think of a positive thought. It's entirely up to you. As you blend your flames to light the center candle, you honor the brilliance of two fires, separate and individual, uniting the flames to burn as one. And this union is symbolized now by the lighting of the unity candle. 31 years ago, Rich and I lit this very candle at our wedding ceremony. And it's our wish to you that your, wet, your uh, marriage is as blessed as ours has been. May you be poor in misfortunes and rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness. From this day forward, may green be the grass you walk on. May blue be the skies above you. And from this day forward, may joys of today be those of tomorrow. With the power vested in me by the state of Washington, and you too can officiate weddings.com. <laughs> I hereby pronounce you husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan and Caitlin Scott.
If you guys run into Jim Elias tonight, he got his eyebrows waxed, so compliment him on that. <laughs> guys, to Nate, to Kate, and to Jim's eyebrows. They still were willing to drop everything they were doing, pack up my entire chaotic life, and help me. Uh, help me move down to LA. And I'll never forget that. Sorry. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, anyways, that is an act of unconditional love that I'll never forget. And I love you guys so much. Um, and I think that's fully all I have to say. So. To the bride and groom. We love you, BBs. Congratulations. Um, One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen is the process of Caitlin realizing the depth of her feelings for Nathan. Every day, I see them love each other more. As they have grown up together, I have been fortunate enough to see their love for each other grow with them. Caitlin and I have grown up in a small family, but today it's more than doubling in size. My family is so blessed to be welcomed into the Scott family, and I'm thrilled to call Nathan my brother-in-law. So cheers to the lovely couple. I am so proud of you both, and I'm so excited to see you continue to grow with each other. I love you. The greatest nights we ever had sun lit up the boulevard Driving slow dancing in your car It spins a wave like the 